it's Jessie V, and today my Halloween shirt says it's the most wonderful time of the year. And no, it's not talking about Christmas. It's talking about Halloween. And there's this cute cauldron at the bottom. I love this shirt. I feel like every video is like show and tell for me with the outfit that I'm wearing. <laughs> Bear with me. So today we're gonna be talking about the places that are blacked out on Google Maps. It really makes you wonder what they're trying to hide from us. It's a very mysterious and kind of unsettling thing to see on Google Maps. Now there can only really be conspiracies about what are behind those blacked out places. So I'm going to be reading some of those conspiracies. Now, a lot of these places are military bases, so I'm not gonna talk about those ones because those are like obvious ones that people would understand why they're blacked out. I'm gonna be talking more about the places that people are unsure what's there. And a lot of them have to do with aliens. Surprise, surprise. So the first one is called Sandy Island. Sandy Island was discovered by Captain Cook during his explorations around Australia in the late 1700s. So this island is very, very old and was discovered many, many, many years ago. Did anybody else think of Captain Hook when they heard Captain Cook? Or is that just like my Disney brain? <laughs> So this island that was discovered has been seen on maps for the past 200 years. So it's always been there visible for people to see. But now if you go on Google Maps, it has been mysteriously blurred away. No one really understands why and it's never really been explained. Some people think that maybe the water levels got too high and now the island is literally underwater and can't be seen. Or other people think that maybe the island is being used for some mysterious business. Either way, we're not able to see it on the map anymore and it's just been a very unsettling thing for people to see. It's also especially unsettling because this island was shown on Google Maps up until November of 2012. So it was there. Okay, so this next blackout place is in the Himalayan mountains. It's in an area of the Himalayan mountains known as Contega. There is a portion of the mountain that is completely blacked out. There are a lot of conspiracies as to why it is blacked out, but what's really freaky is that there have been a lot of UFO sightings right around that area. So people think that maybe it's like some secret government project where they're trying to deal with the extraterrestrials and communicate back and forth. That might seem a little bit far-fetched, but I do believe in aliens. And maybe meeting at the top of a mountain is what they prefer. I don't know. Either way, it's 22,000 feet up into the air, so it's quite a long hike if you wanna go see yourself. But don't do that, actually, don't ever, don't ever do that. The next place is the Royal Palace in Amsterdam. So if you're looking at Google Maps, you can see everything else crystal clear around the palace, but the building itself is obscured from all angles. And the reason why is probably because of security issues. They don't want the public seeing different ways you can get into the palace and stuff like that. Other people think that maybe the the royal family is hiding something. Either way, people are still finding this blurring to be very strange because if it was like a security thing where all castles around the world had to be blurred, but then why isn't Buckingham Palace blurred? You know, like I think this is the only palace that's actually blurred on Google Maps. So why them? This next place, I hope I don't butcher the name. It says Tantaco National Park in Chile. Tantaco maybe? So it's basically a nature reserve that can only be seen if you're really zoomed out on Google Maps. Once you start zooming in, it starts to get blurred and blocked out. People speculate the reason why it's blocked out is because that place is home to so many endangered species. And obviously we want to keep keep them safe. Other people are saying that maybe the animals that live in this park aren't supposed to exist. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe they've made some like weird, creepy hybrid animals that live there. What is very strange though, is that this nature reserve is open to the public. I mean, there's hiking trails there. People are always going in and out of this park. So why is it blurred from Google Maps, yet people can still go there? That's what's confusing everybody. It says, maybe the park is hiding something that is only viewable from bird's eye view above the park. So hikers can't see it when they're walking through the forest. 
forest? That's really creepy. Either way, I always find nature reserves as great as they are, I always feel kind of eerie being in them. After hearing all of like the missing persons cases and stuff like that. This next place is Baker Lake in Nunavut, Canada. According to a conspiracy theory and popular lore, the black strip over Baker Lake covers extraterrestrial beacons that no government wants the world to see. So a lot of these blackout places are aliens. This next thing I find to be kind of hilarious and that is that all of the colonial Sanders on the KFC signs around the world, his face is blurred everywhere. This is because Google Maps automatically blurs the faces of people that are seen on the maps just for their security, for their privacy. So this system accidentally thinks that all of the KFC signs have real people's faces on them. So even though he's just like a logo face, it's just, it's blurred everywhere. But I mean, props to the graphic designer who made that logo because clearly you made it look like an actual human face, so. You talented. The next one is a prison in New York that is completely blurred out. And this one really does make sense to me. It says the warden of the prison put in a request for censorship with Google to completely block out the prison so that the prisoners wouldn't be able to see like the map of the prison to escape. Because apparently at this prison, there were so many breakouts. So having the layout visible for everybody to see was just like bad for them. It says there are better ways to prevent breakouts like having more security. Yeah, that's true too. But it does say that after Google blurred this prison, there haven't been any outbreaks since. So that's good. This next one is such a mystery and nobody in the neighborhood knows why this place is blurred. There is a specific house on Princeport Road that is completely blurred. Even the residents who live in this house don't understand why. This is a quote from one of the residents. I've been in this house since 2000, but I have no idea why nobody's able to see it. If you find out, it would be nice to know why. Isn't that crazy? Imagine like seeing your house on Google Maps and it's it's the only one in the whole neighborhood that's blurred. So it's just never been explained. That's bizarre. And this last one is also super weird and doesn't seem very necessary. It's the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca Salinas. <laughs> Why does it sound like a tongue twister? It's basically a racetrack in California that is blurred. No one knows why either. It says, this is one of the most bizarre examples of censorship in Google Maps. The raceway is heavily whited out. And the strange thing about this is the fact that it's just a racetrack. Anybody who's been there has seen that it's literally just a racetrack. So what aren't we allowed to see from up above? It almost seems like having a bird's eye view of certain things is just stuff that we will never know. Anyways though, there are so many more, but I'm gonna end this video here. If you wanna talk about any that I have not, definitely comment down below. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!